Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Creative Juices Wine Show. Wine Show. God, I can never get that right. Um, <laughs> this is ep- episode 10. That's why you do it. Um, today, you'll see I'm just by myself. I'm wearing my members only jacket because I'm fancy and I'm the only member. And um, we are going to show you the etiquette of a, uh, a sommelier opening a bottle in a, in a restaurant setting. So I'm going to order a bottle of wine from my lovely wife, the sommelier, who's currently running to answer a phone. So I'm just going to keep talking. Um, and then she will go ahead and open the bottle for me uh, after the presentation and everything like that, pour me up, and then I will drink. And it will be delicious. Um, it appears as though she's still on the phone. And so I'm going to use this time to talk about my day. Uh, earlier, I woke up and I, uh, I played on the computer for a little while and uh, wrote, checked some emails and did all that. And then, um, oh, you're back? Okay. <laughs> I'll fill you in later. I know it's, you're, you're really worried about what I did this morning, but okay. So here's what's going to happen. She's going to present me with the menu now, and here we go. Oh, hello. Why, hello. Do you like my members only jacket? I love it. I knew you would. <laughs> I, I really enjoy drinking wine at restaurants. Did you know that about me? Now I do. Now I do, sir. I figured that you would know based on my members only jacket. <laughs> hmm. I sure love wine. How about one bottle of wine, please? Coming right up. Oh, fantastic. All right, so then I go away. Um, I get the wine. <laughs> <laughs> And then I come back. This is a nice restaurant. <laughs> I enjoy Oh, hello. Why, hello. So what happens next is that I present the bottle of wine to the person who ordered it. And what you're checking for is the name, mm-hmm. the vintage, being the year, the varietals. Just to make sure that that's the bottle that you order. Because sometimes the restaurants will put um, smaller priced wines next to their higher priced wines. And by mistake, the waiter can misunderstand the item that you're pointing out right. and bring you the more expensive bottles, and that can get you in trouble. Okay, yes, this is a bottle of wine, <laughs> and I ordered that, so that's, that's perfect. That is perfect. the wine. And oh. there's your wine glass. Oh, excellent. I love glasses of wine. So after you let the waiter know that that's, that's the one, that is the one, the waiter will take his or her um, cork opener, wine bottle opener. And I'll pretend like I have friends. I, I enjoy drinking in restaurants by myself. A bottle for yourself? That's One bottle. Awesome. I'm not even sure that that's legal. <laughs> I, actually, I'm not even sure that that's legal either. It's not. Not in Texas. Well, we'll help you out. Thank you for everything. All right. I'm going to enjoy the scenery while I wait. Very, very cool. So, then the waiter is going to give you a little sip of the wine. And the reason for that is you want to evaluate the wine for whether or not it's spoiled. You're not really, the waiter doesn't really care if you like it or not. The only thing that the waiter really wants to know if it's a bad bottle. And then the waiter will also put the, put the cork down. Let's pretend that he has friends too. So this, these are the friends. Hmm. Don't pretend like I have friends. I don't. <laughs> I do not have friends. <laughs> yes, that, that will be. That's, that's the one. Yes. Then the waiter pours ladies first, then the gentleman, and then the person who ordered the bottle. In the past, the etiquette used to be that if it was a lady that ordered the wine, you pour her wine first because she's a lady and that's sort of was more important, but now um, women's rights movement has forbidden such treatment. Mm-hmm. And um, the, if it's a lady or if a gentleman, you get poured last. All right, boys and girls, so that is how you order and receive a bottle of wine in a restaurant. Um, odds are you probably use some different terminology when ordering a bottle. You might even name the bottle of wine that you would like to have. Um, I highly recommend doing that. Otherwise, yeah, otherwise you'll just end up with a bottle of Cabernet Sauvignon like I did. What do you do with a cork? Some people have well, questions about that. Um, yeah. Old school 
old school folks, they like to go a little, put a little sniffy sniff on the cork. Um, I think I think it's sort of become a thing of the past. It it hasn't actually um, been proven that it that it's worthwhile to do. If, if Although the I, I love doing it because a lot of corks have different different uh, different aromas that come off of them. Um, for instance, actually one of the bottles here, the um, one of the Italian bottles of Super Tuscan that we have, uh, the Orbio. Uh -huh. The Orbio, you take the cork out of it, and if it's if it's right, it always smells like nutmeg and just all these Christmas spices. It's the most fantastic thing in the world. So give it a little sniffy sniff. Um, you don't have to be pretentious about it. It's, it's just one of those things. Um, just wine on wood smells really good, so... And it does, and this, this bottle, or this cork smells really nice. It really just does. not. You like it? Yeah, it smells good. Makes me want to eat it. <laughs> Here's some wine as well. Perfect. All right. All right. Sniff it up. So that this is a really exciting wine. This terrific Cabernet comes in 12 different labels, or under 12 different labels. Um, our distributor, unfortunately, only gave us one. <laughs> one the yellow label. We're, uh, we're all yellow labeled up. But um, no, the, uh, the show, they've also just released the, uh, their new 2009 Malbec from Mendoza. And um, they just had a show with, with Gary Vee on uh, Wine Library TV. And actually still haven't been able to check it out, but I'm sure it's, yeah, I'm sure it's fabulous. We've been we've been working hard trying to get all this together for you, and put put, uh, put together the wine shop and everything like that. So um, we're looking forward to that. And if our distributors can get us the Malbec, we'll probably end up bringing it in just because we know that these guys are awesome producers. They know what they're doing. And it's it's very fun. It's inexpensive wine. This one we're retailing for seventeen dollars and fifty cents. Yep. And this one is beautiful. Right now I'm just getting a lot of really dark fruit, a lot of spice on it, a little mineral. A lot of pepper. It's absolutely fantastic. And I think what this I want to do right delicious. now is, I, I, don't, I know that I'm not going to be able to get it because the kitchen has been closed for about an hour now, but I, wanna, I want to cook up a ribeye right now. Mm. We've done this we before. Can do it at home. Yeah, we've done this before, after hours, where uh, Chef Ruiz had some ribeyes, where actually the phone call I received was from Chef Ruiz, and the first thing he said was, I got ribeyes. <laughs> Without so, the hello or anything. Like no, yeah, no, no hello. You know, We're past that. That's how it is. Um, but this is absolutely fantastic. It pairs beautifully, beautifully, beautifully with steaks. Um, grilled, grilled um, char marks. That's basically what you're pairing to with this wine. And it, it shows phenomenously. Phenomenous. <laughs> phenomenous. It's a wine term. Look it yeah, up. Yeah, look it up. It's a wine term. I'm doing my life. All right, so anyway, 2007, the show. We'll be, very, we'll very be bringing good wine. in the Malbec if we can get our hands on it. For the price point, I think that this probably is one of my favorite counts. Absolutely. And uh, all right, cool. So that is that is episode ten. This is how to order a bottle of wine and how to pour a bottle of wine in a restaurant if you are a sommelier. Yes. Um, Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it, guys. Yeah. Um, we'll we have do. a lot of We're very good. exciting things coming up for you. We have a big schedule of events coming up. Huge. Huge. Yeah. Check out check very, out the website. We just stuff. actually we just changed our, our website. So now it's creativejuiceswine.com. Which is a little better than um, what we used to have. Yeah, um, we're stepping up our game yep. for, you. for you. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers. Cheers.